everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel and today I'm going to be bringing you something very special. As you all know, because of lockdown, we are closed in the house. People are getting postponed or trying to do it at home. So I thought it would be great to do a video where I teach you one of those looks that everybody should know. It's great for you as a bride, even as someone who's attending a close friend's family, uh, you know, fr a friend's wedding. Um, right now, especially salons, jana ya dusro se makeup karana bhi danger obviously rakta hai apna. Abhi ham sab phir se lockdown mein. So I thought ki ek achhi cheez hogi to teach you a look that can go with a lot of different ethnic outfits. Um, so we have the gorgeous Maliha back with us again. Uh, the last video I did with her, everybody loved. Uh, so I thought let's get her and she's wearing this stunning Farah Talib Aziz. Um, she is the force behind the brand as well. And uh, I thought uh, let's get something from their new collection. So you guys also see an actual proper real time outfit ke saath ye makeup kaise lagega. So let's start. So we've pinned her hair back. I'm going to start with her eyes first as usual. Here I have some NW45 by Pro long wear mac and this is almond from uh, born this way concealer i'm going to mix both of these and i'm going to first just cover her eyes so i feel ke, um, especially with outfits which are ethnic traditional outfits hote hain, usually colorful hote hain, etc um, and uh, they usually tend to have either silver or gold tones in them um, a lot of times and gold being predominantly what ends up happening so what I'm going to do is a very beautiful kind of an eye I recently did this for a transition uh, like a Bollywood transition where I'd kind of made my eyes nice and brown and there was like a smoked out eyeliner lashes etc and then you can pair it with any color lipstick kisi bhi color lipstick ke saath ye aank achhi lagti hai aankhon ke upar dekhna aur ye us tarah ka eye makeup hai jo har tarike ke eye pe suit bhi karta hai so I thought it'll be good to run you guys through this particular look. So Maliha, tell us, how is this lockdown uh, affecting brides? Because you have so many you must deal with, right? Um, so it's different for everybody. Karachi, I feel, takes lockdown more seriously. Mm -hmm. uh, Lahore and Islamabad um, are still having weddings more proactively. Mm -hmm. Weddings are also happening abroad um, as scheduled. So it's very difficult production-wise to get everything Done, right? Done because of the lockdown, you know. Weddings have been made much smaller, which is upsetting to any bride. Yeah. Uh, but, you know, just hoping for the best that they, they themselves and their family get through it safely. And I mess up ko ye bolti hun ke remember ke I know hum sab apni shadiyon pe chate hain ke sab aaye and they look the best and everyone's there. But abhi jo ye situation hai usme it's better to be safe, right? Because I wouldn't want to hurt someone or kill someone rather Allah na kare in the process of getting married. I'm just applying some cork uh, eyeshadow by Mac. Me halka sa. Abhi eyebrows ko define kar rahi She's got a bushy brow, so I'm gonna keep it a little natural. I'm just defining it slightly. Um, but yeah, like how do you? Uh, it's a very difficult time. Uh, brides ke bhi hawale se I understand because this is your special day. You've planned for it since forever, and then you know it's a real bummer ke abhi mm. the situation's gotten bad again. And Delta is no joke, right? It's a very serious strain. Um, of this virus, which is why I keep telling everybody to take it very, very seriously or lax now home, but you know what to do, what can one do? And now I'm going to apply some black track into her eye. You can also put kajal and kajal is such a thing that in every way, in every pencil or kajal, it's in every So I'm also going to use, try to use products that if you don't have the same product, you'll have something similar. As you guys know, I prefer using gel eyeliner as kajal because I feel it really stays and doesn't budge. Niche dekhna Maliha. I'm going to also do her top water line, which is I know. That's why we do this first, because there's no water, no worries. Situation ho, to pehle ho jai. And then I'm going to take my dip down. And in this place, you can use paint pot. Kar sakte hain. A lot of these uh, companies do some kind of like gel-based uh, base of, for the eye. Band karna Maliha. I prefer again a fluid line, so I'm just taking dip down, blending it on her eye. Mac ka mein blending brush le rahi hoon Aur main aang ki abhi ye base bana rahi hoon. Open and look down maliha. 
So I'm going to use this palette by Too Faced, which I've mentioned before as well. And this is a great, it's an affordable palette I feel as well and has a lot of great colors, especially for this kind of eye and this bond this way, the natural nudes, okay? Um, these tones always look great on our skin tones, the variety we have in our skin tones. So I'm going to take maple now, this color. And I'm going to start first applying it towards the outer edges of the eye. So I'm just creating that nice. अगर आपके पास ये exact color नहीं है, मतलब कि palette नहीं, तो अभी इस तरह का color बहुत सारे palettes में होता है. It's like a, that's why I'm showing it to you on camera as well, so you guys recognize this color. So something similar भी आपके पास अगर है, उसके साथ भी आप ये कर सकते हो. Right? So I'm creating a nice. Little situation there. Now I'm going to take truffle from the same palette, which is a darker color here, and I'm going to start creating darkness near her eye area, जहाँ eyeliner लगता है वहाँ. Again, you can take a look. It's like a dark brown. You can substitute it for whatever other thing you have in your palette as well. If you don't have this one, something similar will do the trick as well. So you see, brush को मैं back and forth ले जा के root of the lash ke paas mein open and look straight into the camera close again we just also shot a really beautiful uh, Farah Talib Aziz campaign inshallah when the beat when it releases then I shall bring it to my YouTube um, and I did uh, Madiha's Madiha Imam's uh, makeup for that shoot and one of the looks that I did on her was this one so that's another thing because a lot of people said please share all her looks all her looks are difficult because during shoot time we'd also just look up I'm going to apply the same color under also just smoking it out under it's difficult to sh uh, shoot while you're also shooting something else because there's a you know like a clock so we have to work fast but this is another one of the looks that I created on her that I'm showing you on my YouTube. So I'm nice. so glad. I'm so glad. Safe, yeah? yeah, it looks stunning, huh? She loved them too. She messaged me saying that. And what a joy I was telling Malia as well because she's such a nice person and it's always very nice to work with nice, you know, accommodating people. And that was a very nice thing about her. So I'm going to take this now shade, Listening Snow, from the same palette. And I'm going to apply it towards her brow bone a little bit here. So again, you can see any kind of pale with a slight shimmer if you have a shadow. You're going to use that. And I have my brush with which I had maple blend. I will blend it with that. I will blend it with that. Just like that. Right? Now I'm going to take my Urban Decay uh, Heat Palette. I'm trying to use palettes that are easily available for you guys. So, you know, there's no... Uh, tension in the fact that Natasha aap sirf expensive brands use karte hain, affordable ni use karte so I want to show you guys this with uh, with the affordable palette so I'm going to now use Cayenne and He Devil from the Naked Heat hai? and I'm going to build that in her center a little bit center wali lifte halka sa isko build karenge And then uh, back straight. So I'm just blending that over the eyelid. And I'm taking my dip down now. Or dip down, say, I'm going near her lashes. And creating a thicker eyeliner. Open, will you? So I'm going to apply that and immediately I'm going to take my pencil brush and I'm just blending this before it dries up because when it gets dry then it's harder to blend. Right and I'm going to take some of ashes from the Naked Heat now which is this dark brown again you can get use something similar and I'm going to blend it on top of where I've applied this eyeliner. And I'm going to use the same now ashes 
fur going under her eye also. Right? Now I'm gonna take some of now the He Devil, which is that an orangey brown hair, and I'm gonna add that under her eye also. So whether her, your eyes are green or brown or even a dark eye, these colors really enhance the eye. So now I'm gonna go back in with my number 11 brush, Atelier brush, and I'm taking ashes, close. And I'm gonna start creating slight smokiness in the corners. Because this is, the reason why I want everybody to be able to do this eye is that this is like a eye traditional outfits ke saath ek neutral bhi hai. It doesn't have a lot of other color in it. So it can go with the green, it can go with the pink, it can go with the red. Uh, you know, it can go with any color. So that's one thing. And second thing is that it's supposed to be smudgy and smoky. So it's not itna defined that if you do something wrong, it conceals it as opposed to enhancing it. So now I'm going to take Shimmering Pearl, which is this golden color from the Too Faced palette now, because you want to add some gold into this look. And I'm using a flat applicator shader brush. And I'm just going to apply that in the center to give the eye some sheen, okay? Now, again, like I said, if you don't have this palette, you can use your gold too. The idea though is to blend it out so it doesn't look very stark, but blend it. So, I'm just blending around it so that it leaves a most subtle kind of a gold feeling on the eye. It's not like overtaking the eye. So, I'm just reapplying it and then blending. Reapplying and then back and forth. I'm just blending. Now, before we go ahead, I'm going to go ahead and curl her lashes. She actually already has very curly lashes. I noticed that last time also. So, I'm now just going to stick the Sephora long lashes here on Maliha. Open, down. So, if you don't have lashes at home, you can even just use a good two coats of mascara but lashes do make a huge difference open and they can make any eye look very nice and professional like lift si a jati aankh mein. but uh, try to use a uh, lashes ke topic pe everybody tends to sometimes think ke jitna thick hoga utna glamorous lagega that's not necessary try to use lashes that match your eye like maliha has mashallah big eye so i can still get away with using slightly heavier lashes but even on her i won't put like super thick lashes because then you take away from that you know softness to shakal pe aati hai usko khatam kar dete if the lashes are too heavy is it what's happening no because I have suddenly so much bigger. Yeah, immediately. Now I'm just going to go back in with my gel eyeliner on top of the eye. So I'm going to also go back in with the black track gel eyeliner and make her inner waterline slightly darker. Look straight, Mili. Just in the center, I'm going to just add a smidgen of that to amp up that gold there, that gold there. And then I'm going to use a wipe. Just look up again. And I'm just going to wipe off any extra residue on her face. Pretty now. Corner of the eye, under the eye, before we start on her skin. So now I'm going to go back in with a liquid eyeliner. So just adding that right next to her. Look down again. Down again. So I'm drawing that out a little bit from her eye. So now I'm gonna take some of my truffle from this palette, which is a dark brown. Look down, Maliha. And just towards the outer corners, where we have liner, laga hai, I'm just going to buff that and kind of blend it. Just going back with the same color here. And then look up. Just going to take the same color here also. 
Now I'm going to go ahead and apply Becca's backlight. ये कोई भी glowy आपके पास अगर कोई और option है of a primer आप वो भी लगा सकते हैं. But I like this as a glowy primer. So I'm just going to apply that all over her face. It makes the skin. It's a great. primer. It's a backlight, you, but unfortunately, guys, you also stock up on this because Becca closes its doors this September, which forever. is forever. Yeah, they're another brand that was hit by Corona. Um, so unfortunately, they, you will not be able to buy this anymore. But this is one of my favorite products. Uh, but you have other options. You can use another glowy primer. But if you can see even Maliha saw, can you see how yeah. lovely it is? I um, mean, it's shocking. Yeah. It's it's a lovely lovely primer, but unfortunately we don't have it. We're not going to be having it available for too long. Uh, but some other options are even L'Oreal's Lumi Glow for a drugstore op uh, option, uh, or Charlotte uh, Tilbury's Wonder Glow is another option for people who are looking for. Uh, I do if you're going to be working and going out and you want you know your makeup to last. Yeah, I do. I do for sure. Uh, so we're going to mix the initial, the one that we put on our eye initially, the NW45 and Almond concealers. So upar dekhna, wohi mixture I'm taking now and I'm going to cover her pigmentation. So uh, should one wear primer even if they're not wearing foundation? Uh, I say I, sometimes yes because it, uh, it gives that skin that finish, you know. So a lot of these primers are glowy. So you can have like today, I'm not wearing makeup on my skin. I just put on a cream, but it's also like a glowy primer cream, you know. So then my skin is still shining and, and uh, the person watching me will be like, oh, it looks nice, like it's looking. So I think that there's so many nice options now in primers that I would, I do suggest, yes, for sure. So I'm mixing some more of this here around the nose. You guys know the drill. Wherever I feel thorisi pigmentation here and just around the forehead here. I'm gonna blend this out a little bit. Right, and now I'm going to mix some of the Naked Skin Shade 3.5 foundation with some Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in number three. So the Flawless Filter is also another, have I told you about this? Charlotte Tilbury. What, uh, yeah, the flaw flawless filter. Have I told you about this? So the flawless filter is almost like it is like look straight again. It is like a primer, primer like before makeup type of a thing. But it's also great to use as like once you put it on your concealer, I feel mm. you can just have that on. It's so like a tinted moisturizer. Is this the one you're putting on? Yeah. So you will see the effect of it. It's really beautiful and glowy. It's instead of a moisturizer. Yeah, like a lot of times I'll tell you, look, look straight again. If I'm using moisturizer and your skin products, I think on an average you have to do all the time, yes. Mm. But before makeup, okay, I like to use moisturizers which are uh, going to have a lot of holding power. Usually mm. if you do too much skincare under makeup, then makeup doesn't last very long. I feel like skincare should be your everyday thing, every day, every day. Feeling. Yeah, yeah. So you want to do it every day, night, morning. Yes, I'm very big on skincare. But when you're gonna apply like a heavy face of makeup, then the skincare you should do like what I mean to say is 360 degree all the time. But it on the actual day where you're wearing more makeup, I feel you should wear um, products that are gonna hold the makeup. Uh, so to speak. So too much skincare uh, under makeup that's heavy will make your makeup slide a little bit. So I want to, I like to keep my skincare for every day and then mm. the days that you're doing more makeup, then you want to focus on primers, etc. They can hold this makeup better. But now, skincare is like a lifelong commitment. I keep telling everybody, my brides ko bhi kehti hai, so many brides come mm. who do not take care of their skin and they feel that the makeup artist will somehow yeah. magically fix every issue. It doesn't work that way, unfortunately. So I'm just, just going in with this smaller sponge now. I'm blending the same mixture of foundation on Maliha's face. Look straight, right? Making sure we're getting every area here. As you notice, she's wearing a, a nice big neck. So 
I've made sure that I'm applying makeup everywhere. Like even at the back, if she was a bride who was coming, who was, I mean, right now she's just getting dressed for video, so we're just doing the front. But this uh, outfit also has a deep back. Then I would put the foundation on the back as well because it's very important uh, when they're getting photographed or when they're roaming around mm. that this part and that part doesn't look like it belongs to two different people, mm. right? And it photographs very differently. Even if your color is very similar at the back and you feel you don't need any foundation, mm. uh, for, when you're photographing, light reflects on makeup and then on makeup free areas it absorbs. So even if the color looks the same in reality, on a camera it will read very differently. So it's mm. very important that any area that you are going to be showing, then you need to put some body makeup on it as well. So even if you're showing your navel and stuff, I always tell people belly, you need to make sure that everything is being painted on. So we've blended that foundation onto Maliha's skin and you can tell immediately the eyes start to pop a lot more because the area around it has been cleaned right and now I'm going to start contouring her face and like I told you guys last time as well we don't want to go low we want to go higher mm. because that's what's going to sculpt her face because she also has a face that needs to be sculpted slightly higher because she's got these lovely cheeks which make her look nice and young. <laughs> so that's the secret to looking young by the way because my mom's always had cheeks as well and now everybody's like, mm. she's like it works for me because till date everyone's like, how is it possible that Natasha is your daughter? Because mm -hmm. you guys look like your sisters. So the secret to aging and looking like you nice and young. So we want to keep lifting that face. We want to make sure that in contouring, you are not yeah. kind of dragging someone's face down. So look straight again. I'm going to blend that into her face. It's a nice buffing brush. So I'm blending that into her cheekbone. I'm also going under her neck. Whatever I feel, we've done the contouring. And now I'm also going to do her nose. So, making sure it's coming from the sides of the nose here, I'm going to be done as well. Just keep that there and now we're going to introduce some light areas on her face. So we're going to do that with the light neutral tart shape tape. I'm going to take some and I'm going to go under her eyes and make sure Jabab, another trick I always tell people especially when it comes to nose contouring, everybody focuses on the fact that look straight Maliha that it has to be uh, dark on the sides of the nose but make sure okay, other than the fact that this area has to be light so I'm going to put some Conceal on the bridge of her nose. You want to make sure that the sides of where you've done the dark on the lower side, the sides of the nose also has some lightness there. Usse bhi, the nose starts to look slimmer. So it's not just putting mm. white here. You want to make sure on the sides also. From the concealer, when you go higher, that also makes a huge difference. Just turn here, Maliha. And then turn straight. Now I'm going to go in with my mascara. So nice little Applied thick mascara there. We're also going to now go ahead and put some powder, loose powder. Look straight, Malia. Apply loose powder. All over. Mm. 
used buffing the loose powder on her face here and now I'm also gonna go under her eyes with mascara and she's got these lovely nice curly lashes like I've said so even if your lashes are not very heavy two three coats of mascara and make sure that your lower lashes ko enhance kar rahe Usse bhi, this eye looks gorgeous so I'm gonna use some NARS orgasm smile that's the one I use yeah that's a very nice one it's got a pearly kind of finish to it as well so we're gonna apply some of that and then I'm gonna take some of my Pat McGrath highlighting trio you can use any other highlighters you also have and look straight Malia. Huh? right under here under her eye on top of her cheekbone i'm going to apply some highlight here smile again i'm going to go back in with my eyebrow brush and i'm going to apply some eyebrow color to the corners here again she has a more natural brow so we're not trying to keep it to its natural shape and one of the things that i like to do keep thicker brows in place we just do that right now so I'm gonna take some hairspray and I'm gonna spray it on my eyebrow brush and I'm gonna keep her eyebrows in place by doing just that so now I've applied Spice Lip Pencil with Please Me Lipstick on her lips and look towards me Maliha. I'm going to go in now with Huda's Lip Gloss in Angelic and apply that to the center of her lip. Please Me is one of my favorite MAC pinks. So it's a really pretty color. It's going to go with what she's wearing and really add to this look. So I'm just shading that gloss on the lip. And now I'm going to finish off with some more blush right on her cheek I want this to be a really pretty fresh pink look so as you can see we have this gorgeous beautiful look here on maliha this is the kind of look that you can do at someone else's wedding as well as your own small home function even for a bigger function i feel this is a classic look that never goes out of style you know the eyes look nice and smoking gorgeous but in a very subtle way paired with a nice pink lip what i love about this look is that it works across features and across skin tones it can really work this technique that i've taught today where the eyes and the lip are concerned uh, i hope you guys like this look please stay home delta variant is an actual very scary thing that we're going through right now we'll keep bringing content to you where you can do your makeups at home it makes me really happy so many of you message saying that you watch my youtube videos and you did some event at home or someone else's makeup so that makes me very happy we're going to keep bringing you such content stay home stay safe please keep liking sharing and subscribing i'll be seeing you very soon